I've spent about 9,000 hours creating explainer videos, reviewing them and coaching on them. And here is my biggest learning. I think most people don't understand what really makes a good explainer video. They think what matters is the camera quality, the lighting, the animation, the transitions, the editing, the text, background music, making it funny and so many other things. But guess what? You can do all of that and still make a bad explainer video. Trust me, I have literally seen thousands of them. So that brings us to the question, what really matters when it comes to making a good explainer video? Well, none of these things. Sure, it's nice to have great visuals and great cuts and good background music, but these are not the core components of what makes a good explainer video. And if you don't believe me, Let's go to some of my favorite science communicators like Neil deGrasse Tyson or Richard Feynman or Carl Sagan. Here's the thing. I can listen to their audio, their podcasts all day. And I'm sure there are other people who can do that as well. The fact that I can just listen to their audio with no visuals, no editing, nothing whatsoever makes me think that there is more to it. So what exactly makes a good explainer video? In my opinion, there are two things. First, a conversational tone. This is way harder than it sounds. When you're recording yourself, it's so easy to get conscious and as a result, a different kind of tone comes out. Or if you're reading a script, it's very hard to maintain a conversation. But humans connect the most when there is a conversation. So if you want to make a good explainer video, you need a good connection, have a conversational tone. Ironically, what you need is your exact authentic tone, how it would feel if I were to meet you outside somewhere and talk to you. That's the tone you need to try and bring out and that's one thing that you need to practice. Two, a focused storyline, which takes learners from A to B. Again, I've seen so many videos in which there's a lot going on, which is like cognitively loading. And at the end of the video, I feel like I have no idea what I learned. Or there are some videos where there's a lot of talk, but it still feels like there's nothing that I learned from it. So you need to spend a lot of time, invest a lot of time in getting your stories right, in ensuring that it's highly focused on one specific topic and that you're taking your learner from what they already know to something new. That's the whole idea behind an explainer video. So in summary, two things that really makes a good explainer video is having a great conversational tone and a storyline which is highly focused and takes the learners from what they already know to something new. To get these two things right and the rest of, things, rest of them don't really matter. Finally, what this means is that if you want to make a good explainer video, you don't need any fancy equipment. In fact, you have everything you need. You have a recording instrument, which is your phone. You can shoot yourself or you can record yourself writing something. And all you need is some basic editing tools. And yeah, you can start, getting, you, you can start creating videos.